Okay, this is not science fiction anymore. China just unleashed real humanoid AI police robot. Those are already out on the streets. These things don't just look human, they move like us, scan crowds, identify people and even report suspicious behavior in real time. They're not rolling drones or bulky security bots. These are robotic patrol officers wearing high-vis vests and walking beside actual cops in places like Shenzhen. And what they can do will absolutely blow your mind. Let's break it down. We are so screwed. All at the same time that this deep seek AI is out there. Engine AI's PM01 is now on patrol in Shenzhen, the first humanoid robot to join China's public security efforts. Standing 1.38 meters tall and weighing 40 kilograms, PM01 wears a high visibility police vest identical to its human counterparts. What sets it apart is its agility. The robot features a 320 degree waist rotation, which allows it to scan crowds without moving its feet. Its internals include industrial-grade actuators, a vision system capable of recognizing faces and license plates, and microphones designed to process voice commands in both Mandarin and Cantonese. It recently went viral on Chinese social media for executing a fully landed front flip. PM01 is being offered to business and educational institutions at a price of 88,000 yuan roughly $12,000. That's cheaper than the G1 model from UNIT which offers more athletic features. Currently, PM01 is assisting tourists in helping locate lost children. However, local police report that it can also transmit suspicious behavior directly to command centers in real time. This rollout is part of a broader national effort in China to deploy robots in public safety roles, not just in law enforcement but across firefighting, surveillance, and emergency response systems. PM01 might be the first humanoid, but it's far from the only robot China is testing for public safety. In late 2023, Chinese officials trialed the RTG, a spherical robot designed for multi-terrain patrol. It can move across land or water at speeds up to 35 km per hour and is built tough, it can survive an impact from a 4-ton vehicle. Meanwhile, Deep Robotics is developing robots with wheel-legged designs. These machines can climb stairs and are equipped with thermal cameras that detect fires before human firefighters are even deployed. But PM01 is significant because it's the first to feature a truly humanoid form. This makes it more recognizable and potentially more approachable in public spaces. And with a price tag of $12,000 per unit, PM01 is affordable enough for local governments to deploy multiple units across a city minus a full robotic squad that doesn't break municipal budgets. While PM01 is patrolling in Shenzhen China's robot ambitions were on full display at Auto Shanghai 2025, where humanoid robots took center stage. The standout was Xpeng's humanoid robot Iron, standing 5 feet 8 inches tall and weighing 154 pounds. Iron is designed to blur the line between self-driving cars and service robots. Engineers built Iron with 60 joints, giving it a total of 200 degrees of freedom. Its hands alone contain 22 joints, allowing for precise movements from threading a needle to using a touchscreen whirs without the stiff, mechanical motions common in most robots. All this motion is powered by Xpeng's custom Turing AI chip, which can handle 3,000 trillion operations per second, performance typically found in server-class hardware. Iron runs on the same cockpit AI used in Xpeng's electric vehicles. That means the same software that drives your car could eventually operate your housekeeper robot. Xpeng refers to this as their AI tech tree, Minidi unified platform designed to connect EVs, humanoids, and even flying taxis through shared AI infrastructure. During its demo, Iron showcased key capabilities it bumped shoulders with audience members, answered questions in Mandarin, and lifted a fragile porcelain cup without breaking it. These small actions highlight major strides in robotic manipulation and natural motion. While humanoid robots take physical form on the streets and stages, the control systems behind them are evolving just as fast. Abacus AI recently rolled out a pro-tier upgrade to its large language model agent known as Deep Agent. For a small additional fee, users can now perform complex automations with a single line of natural language input. For example, you could say set up a customer database, pull sales data from my drive, build a live dashboard at datamesite.com, comma, and DM finance when revenue dips. And in the time it takes to brew coffee, Deep Agent will spin up a PostgreSQL SQL instance, write the schema based on your description, load every relevant CSV file from the target folder, keep the table continuously synced in the background. It also claims an unused subdomain, issues an SSL certificate, deploys a polished web front end, wires real-time charts directly into Slack, giving teams instant visibility into live data. For reports or presentations, users can describe a style minor like sleek EV market overview, muted blues, 
I'm Deep Agent generates matching visuals and integrates them directly into documents. Because this upgrade builds on existing integrations with browsers, Gmail, Jira and slide decks, users can chain commands like scrape competitor pricing, refresh the database, update the dashboard, email the deck. What used to take a weekend of manual work now feels like placing a takeout order and just just. And it's done. This is the kind of AI control infrastructure that could power and scale entire fleets of humanoid bots, syncing data and tasks between cloud and field in real time. The rise of humanoid robotics isn't limited to China, it's part of a larger global arms race, and companies like Tesla are deep in the game. Elon Musk recently shared new footage of Tesla's Optimus robot, showing major improvements in how it moves, finally walking with a gait that resembles a human, instead of looking like it just stepped on a Lego. Musk says Gigafactory Texas will be producing 10,000 Optimus units by the end of 2025. His long-term prediction? A world where robots outnumber humans, possibly by a factor of 2 to 1 or even 10 to 1. Each Optimus unit is built on Tesla's existing electric vehicle DNA, battery modules from the Model Y, drive motors scaled down from the Plaid, the FSD full self-driving computer for visual perception and control. The concept is simple, if you can mass-produce cars you can mass-produce androids. But Tesla isn't alone. Another Chinese automaker Cherry is already deploying its own robot, Amoga, in Malaysian flagship showrooms. AMOGA stands for Artificial Intelligence with Multi-Objective Genetic Algorithm. It features a silicone face and long blonde hair to ease the uncanny valley effect. 41 degrees of freedom with 12 joints in each hand. A top speed of 1 meter per second. A 5-way sensor matrix enabling centimeter-level obstacle avoidance. It runs on DeepSeek models, allowing it to communicate in 10 languages and pitch vehicle features without aggressive sales pressure. Cherry calls this its human-like motion library and the bot's gestures genuinely appear natural based on demo footage. So while Tesla and US robotics grab headlines, Chinese companies are already placing these bots into real-world customer-facing environments. While humanoid bots are handling public safety and sales floors, the next frontier is heavy industry Euro and, and it's massive. California-based Ricey Robotics is developing a machine called Xyrex, and it's unlike anything else currently in deployment. Xyrex stands at a towering 20 feet tall and is designed to perform high-impact tasks like welding, carpentry, large-format 3D concrete printing. This machine is being built to solve two major problems in the U.S. construction sector. Number 1. A projected shortfall of approximately 439,000 skilled workers in the coming year. Number 2. A rising number of fatalities, 1,075 fatal injuries in 2023, the highest of any industry. Xyrex uses LiDAR and vision language action models to interpret real-time sensor data and compare it against BIM building information modeling blueprints, reducing errors and keeping human workers out of dangerous zones. Cost-wise, Xyrex is projected to be available for under $1 million to purchase, or under $20,000 per month to lease ears roughly equivalent to hiring a small construction crew. This leap from customer-facing robots to industrial-scale humanoid machines shows how quickly the use cases are expanding nanieras, from micro-interactions in malls and police patrols to automated building sites. As China deploys humanoid robots on the streets, in showrooms, and in industrial sites, the real backbone powering all of this is compute infrastructure. And Huawei is playing a central role. The company is preparing to launch the Ascend 910D, the latest in its line of AI accelerators. It's the fourth iteration, following the 910, 910B, and 910C, and engineering samples are expected to begin shipping by late May. Huawei's goal, match or surpass NVIDIA's each, 100 minis, the industry's top chip for training large language models, in the one metric that matters most training throughput. For context, the H100 delivers about 4.9 terabytes second of memory bandwidth. It tops out at around 1 petaflop of FP16 compute. Huawei's current 910C hits about 800 petaflops of INT8 or around 400 petaflops of FP16, with power requirements compatible with standard 700 watt data center racks. The upcoming 910D is expected to push these numbers even higher, while improving energy efficiency. This development is crucial because US restrictions have blocked China from importing high-end NVIDIA GPUs since 2022 citing their dual-use military potential. Chinese AI teams have been forced to rely on older hardware or pay gray market premiums and to attain. The Ascend 910D can drop directly into existing PCIe slots or Huawei's own Kunpeng servers, giving China's developers a path to continue building and training large AI models without foreign dependency. This mirrors what Huawei pulled off in smartphones shipping the Mate 60 Pro in 2023. Powered by a fully domestic 7nm Kirin chip, 
despite being on the U.S. entity list for six years. Huawei's approach, use a local lithography stack, maximize on-chip SRAM, compensate for older process nodes through software, using tools like its CAN compiler to optimize frameworks like PyTorch and Mindspore. Shipments of the 910C are already headed to Chinese hyperscalers, giving teams a stepping stone while the 910D ramps up. And when you connect the dots, from PM01 on the street to the 910D in the server racks, you see a system forming. Each layer feeds the next robots gather real-world data, chips process and train on that data. Agents act on it, deploy it, and keep the loop moving. So when you see a vest-wearing bot waving at tourists, or hear about a 6-meter mech pouring concrete on a job site, that's not a glimpse of the future. That's already happening. And if your Slack pings at 3 a.m. because Deep Agent deployed your project, don't panic. That's just tomorrow showing up early. What do you think? Comment below. And if you found this video interesting, make sure you hit the like button. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more of these kinds of videos. Thanks for watching.